Senator Brandis's diary back in 2014. Now, this is all about uh, accessing this information to see uh, who Senator Brandis uh, was meeting with and who he wasn't meeting with uh, in the lead up to uh, cuts announced uh, in the budget of 2014, particularly uh, in relation to uh, the community legal sector, of course, an area that uh, the Attorney General had responsibility for. Uh, the message that was coming from uh, parts of those sector to uh, Mark Dreyfus was that they were, uh, representatives were unable to uh, get a meeting with uh, Senator George Brandis. Now, uh, that, uh, the, the decision to refuse access to uh, that ministerial diary was appealed by Mark Dreyfus, who represented himself at a, uh, at a hearing of the Administrative Appeals Tribunal, and uh, that tribunal ruled in favour of Mark Dreyfus. But the diary entries have not been uh, forthcoming, and uh, Senator Brandis actually challenged that decision in the full court of the federal court. And uh, today, uh, the court has ruled against Senator Brandis. Uh, and in favour of uh, the uh, the respondent in this case, uh, Mark Dreyfus. And so, Carl, any indication that the Attorney General may well respond by taking this case into the High Court? Well, it's unclear at this stage. Uh, he was questioned about this uh, on AM this morning and said that uh, he would have to read and consider uh, the full judgment. Of course, uh, the decision to uh, to fight this uh, by Senator Brandis has been heavily criticised by Mark Dreyfus uh, because of the cost that it has involved in terms of legal fees, which uh, the opposition estimates would run into the tens of thousands of dollars. So it's unclear if Senator Brandis will continue to... Uh, fight this uh, all the way to the High Court. Carl Hur, thanks very much.